All right, we're here with our 1963 Alcourt Sunfish chip. We're uh, working on making um, patterns for the frames. So if anybody ever needs a restoration piece for their wooden sunfish, give us a holler. The, um, but most likely you can make your own patterns off of what you got, unless it's totally missing. So we just uh, took measurements and we made these frames a couple different ways. This one we made from uh, measurements, drew it out, measured it, drew it on the board, cut it out. Uh, the next one I'm already lost as to how we made that one. I'm, oh, we taped, uh, we taped all of the frame underneath and got all the edges. We peeled the tape off and then we stuck it on a board, traced around it, cut it out on tape. Uh, the next one we used some sticks. We got some uh, pointed little half paint sticks and you know we'd put a point there, a point there. Had a long paint stick go in the middle, taped it all together so we had all these little you know points going up in different places to find in corners for us. Took that off, put it on the board, made that one. Then our friend uh, Chris gave us a great tip we really like and it was to take uh, business cards do a similar type of thing you know with that but take a a business card and put it down there find the edge you know tape it down tape another card next to it and just go up all along the edge there find find a corner there go underneath Find a corner there so these nice straight edges all line up so you end up with this uh, pile of business cards taped together. Took that off, laid it down, taped it. And we are going uh, far enough across to where we can find this center piece so that when we get ready to there, we, we get enough points so, so we've got that other. So when we flip this whole thing over, it flips over and we just get it lined up and we can draw the uh, mirror side and then we're cross-checking with measurements on the boat the long way and making sure it looks like uh, little center pieces are fitting over marking the holes those are in there to reduce weight it's called lightning holes We'll mark that on the frame two and a quarter inches go back and drill those later and the business card method went pretty good so we used it on this uh, little uh, pattern for the bow transom just uh, upside down of course so that's what it looks like from uh, when you're following the skipper around it's the it's the cutest uh, little transom ever I don't know that I've seen a transom smaller than that before so that's uh, what we've been doing with this today. We've got the, the old bottom pieces over there ready to go with the uh, plywood behind it that we'll lay them down, trace them out. We'll trace them just a little bit big so we can put them back on the boat and fit them. A few more pieces of these. Uh, we're using uh, two, bar two by four sheets of plywood to uh, trace these frames onto because we'll find a real nice edge along one end and then a square corner so we're basically doing a we got four pieces we can do two frames so we got two frames per uh, piece over there with nice uh, square corners on it so i'm not having to try to cut those three edges with a uh, with any type of saw so this is it uh, when we get to just some things to note these most of these frames are a quarter inch. When you get to the frames that are on either side of the cockpit, they beef it up to a half inch. And these uh, little stringers here, we cut notches, mark and cut notches for those that are on the bottom. They're on the deck, that helps keep that plywood panel from kind of buckling there. The uh, long piece is fore and aft on the, hull, on the bottom and here on the deck or longerons they're three quarter inches thick and i can't remember they're about yeah three quarter inch thick about three inches wide they're cut out rectangular and then they get 
they get beveled to follow this angle that runs down off of the edge and this edge here gets a little bevel too. So you got stringers, frames, edges. Uh, we call these little pieces of wood here, we call these uh, cleats. And just, just to note, these frames aren't fit super tight. There's actually room when everything's together, you can slide a business card underneath. Slide a business card underneath there. In fact, let's see. What, let's see whether I'm lying or not. So, it's not a super tight fit. But the way you do make it a tight fit is with these little cleats here. They're screwed to the frame and then they are screwed from the side. So this is your little shim to make everything line up the way you want when you put this uh, side on so you have a nice you know fair sweeping curve so it doesn't get have a hill or a valley get you know a flat or a hump in it on the way and you can kind of do the same thing with these uh, stringers too not so much an issue with the top or the bottom but it is does become an issue if you want your side sides to look nice so they're there and uh, you may notice on these frames toward the aft of the boat this cleat goes on the aft side of the frame so you can bevel down into it. It's, it's, you can cut stuff off, it's hard, you don't really want to add stuff on, which if you put it on the front edge, you'd be trying to cut back this way. So it's easier to, it starts off square and then you come in and trim it. So coming up about amidships here on the boat, those cleats uh, switch over, end up on the forward side of the frame and they follow that scheme uh, all the way up to the bow. We also made a little pattern of this stem here. It's got multiple bevels in it. It's cut in for the um, planks to come in. It's also cut down for the uh, deck. The deck is flush, but this there is an angle coming down on the keel longer on. And then there's also what we're going to call an inner stem just a little extra piece of wood in there to make a landing for this um, deck longer on here and the keel longer on there and that's how everything is tied together up in the bow with the multiple screws there and multiple screws there so these uh, bevels get pretty sharp up at the um, got enough light to see this one it's a pretty sharp uh, bevel there in fact, that one's pulled just a little bit I almost get my finger in there. But once you start get everything tied together, they all everything kind of supports itself. And the last little uh, well, there's two more areas where there's cleats on these boats. We got frame cleats here, and then we have little stringer cleats here. So you know you got nowhere to to screw this into the frame. So you screw the cleat to the frame, and then clue the stringer screw the stringer to the cleat and then there's a couple more up in here for the uh, longerons for the keel and for the deck and then there's a swing over here to the transom there's a tiny little one uh, back in there also that's really the major uh, components of the boat the other two big things are the um, daggerboard trunk We'll get uh, measurements off of that. And then up here is the, is the mast step. It obviously doesn't go all the way through, but the hole in the deck for the two and a quarter inch mast. So that's what we're working on. We've got one, two, three, four, five uh, frames cut out. We got one, two, three four more to go we got enough uh, plywood over that to do that the plywood we bought some uh, finished plywood it's for uh, interior projects that it, it's all sanded and smooth it real, feels pretty good there's not all it's not all rough like this mahogany plywood that they had or fur it's got a nice smooth finish on it and this is just for a, a pattern this is an interior grade 
plywood. We wouldn't put it in a boat. So that's what's happening with chip. We got the uh, standard sailfish over here. Uh, Winnie supervising and Zip's uh, hiding under a cover right now because we got chips and sawdust. We got chips, chips flying everywhere. So that's what we'll do. And here, one other thing. We'll talk about a tool real quick. Since it uh, is a Tuesday tool of the week, don't remember. A uh, nice tool here. It's uh, a tape measure that's broken down in eighths of inches, and you find a lot of time boats are measured with uh, end to eighths of inches. So you find this boat like this point here would be uh, ten one two, meaning ten feet one inch and two eighths. So it's nice how this tape has a little ten further down so you don't get lost at counting. The point here would be 10-4-0. If it's just a little bit less or a little bit more, you put a plus or a minus sign behind it. A nice little uh, metal tape. I don't remember where we picked it up at, but this is one of our one of our fun tools. We have a cloth tape that does a similar thing. Hope you all have a good one. We'll talk to you later.